Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Well today I wanted to practice with some hands-free solar, solar ignitions. And anytime you're making solar experiments, you want to wear your shades. If you stare at a focal point for a couple of minutes, when you look away you'll still see a spot in your view from the persistence of looking at such a bright light. Can't be good for the eyes, I always wear shades when doing solar experiments. Now, if you're just using a piece of char cloth and a magnifying glass, those few seconds are not going to matter. So, I was thinking for the first one, and I'm not sure, I'm just going to play around with it, see what I can come up with, but the first one I want to try is just to take some of the pine needles and roll it into a ball. And maybe just stick it right here in this vent hole on the hobo stove. Make it a little more compact than that. And since the 3 o'clock sun hasn't come over the top of the house well yet, I guess we'll do it on the ground. And this is a makeup mirror. It's regular magnification on that side. And it's seven times on that side. So... We'll use this side, and let's see if we can ignite. I think the angle will be about right. Let's get it all set up on the ground, and I'll give it a try. Well, that didn't take long, did it? You don't have to catch it while it's in flame either because when you take it out of there, there'll be a big enough ember to blow those pine needles back into flames. I'll show you that here in a second. All right, next thing I want to do is find a branch, see if I can find a branch and basically do the same hands-free technique. So let me look around, then I'll set you up and show you the branch. I bet you this would be a good one. That's where we'll shove the pine needles right here, and then this is thin enough right here. It's thin enough to just put a point on it. Let's try that. All right. You see my pocket knife I got in the grass, so I can go back to the same spot. Well, I probably don't need much of a point on here. Oh! A little ball of pine needles. Well, I just broke it off. Let's see if I can stick it in here. it off. What if we spear it? What if I just spear it? How about that? That should work, shouldn't it? 
There we go. Now we're there. And with that wind, it should go to flame pretty quick. This uh, seven power concave mirror is such a strong solar collector and projector that you can even catch the rays at this glancing blow and still have enough power to ignite that. So, I want to try some hands-free with, with my wallet for nail lens and sticking it in my pocket knife like you've seen me do in other videos and try to do a hands-free solar ignition with that like that also. That breeze ought to send it to flame for long. Focal point's not tight enough. This needs to come down some more. Right there is a good tight focal point. And it went to flame finally. Let's try the wallet for nail lens now and see what we can do with it. All right. This works with a lot of different pocket knives. I used a um, Swiss Army knife for doing this and other type knives. So it's not just peculiar to this style of knife. Poor old broken up, cracked up lens. I guess it's been in my wallet now for about a year. And I don't know if you can see the cracks in it across the top. And about ten little cracks right here. But it still works. Right, let's see if we're even close right there. Got a little bit of heat right there. Let's give it a try. I think I need this up higher though. Yeah, we got a little bit of smoke, but this needs to be up higher. about right. Let's give it a try. Let's see what we can do with it. i got to have something to hold this together so I can call it hands-free. How about that right there? Actually needs to be closer. I'm getting some smoke. Let's see how much closer it needs to be. Because I can shim it up with that. Oh, it needs to be farther away. So I'll just it since it needs to be farther away, I'll just let it burn its way down into. It. So the longer it burns, the hotter it should get. Hands free. Solar ignition. I 
I kind of like to set this whole thing up in a in the branches of a tree and that's going to be interesting to try to find branches of the tree that's oriented to the sun properly to where I can lay the Fresnel lens in one of the branches of the tree or prop it up in some kind of way to where my tinder bundle can be at the right distance behind it and ignite it just with both of these laying in the branches of a tree we'll see how that goes this is going to take some time though I know it's boring to wait for this to build up a big enough coal but that's what we're experimenting with today now when that gets big enough I'll blow on it and make it ignite unless that nice breeze keeps happening it might do it for me All right, I don't want to bore you to death. I'm going to go ahead and blow it to flame. Every time I say that, the wind starts to blow harder. All right, enough. Now let's try to set something up in the branches of a tree, see if that's even possible. I guess when it finally does break, I don't think you can see those cracks. I guess when it finally does break, we'll have to do some experiments with just pieces of this. I'm not so sure just pieces of this is going to work all that well. Well, I couldn't really find a branch with everything lined up just right. Let's try this right here. We'll use this pine cone to hold it. And we'll finish. We'll finish the video off with this one. Now you might say, "Man, that's that's pretty foolish." The things that you're trying to do, but you know what? Every experiment I've ever done, I've learned something that I could use, and pretty much have used has used it in these videos. Whoa, that's pretty hot right there. Let's give it a try. Here's the last piece that I used for a clip. We'll try to use it again. needs to be a little bit this needs to be a little bit higher like that I don't know I wasn't sure what I wanted to video today or what I would get into what I might discover but it's always good to practice and as much as I like solar ignition it's my favorite it's my favorite fire technique solar so as much as I like it hands-free is even more fun and more enjoyable to learn about so that focal point is is dialed in perfectly right there We'll let it get a little bit bigger and I'll blow it into flame. Do 
you should uh, you should make some uh, additions to your EDC. It is not hard to carry a wallet for nail lands in your wallet. It is not hard to put a keychain ferro rod on, carry it with your keys, and then I always have a bic with me. So you're going to be able to make fire in just about any situation you find yourself in. If you just add those three items and they're not they're not bothersome to start carrying. They don't get in the way. Well, the wind is acting like it's wanting to blow it into flame for us again. Let's just see what happens. No more wind. Let's see if I can blow it. Oh, I saw some flames that went out. All right, y'all. I appreciate you joining me on these experiments. We'll catch you on the next one.